here I have uh, cut some uh, helix shapes actually it is uh, or they are half of the helices and now I will cut this for example and make two of them in order to ensure symmetry in the helices so I'll cut all these uh, helixes helices and uh, draw them again and then cut them and put them on this and then cut them from plastic test propeller number eight I've made several propellers tested them earlier and found that number eight is the best and especially if it is in push configuration or pusher configuration So it can the thrust can hold the weight of the motor as you can see. So the motor is flying by itself. Experimental work has shown that propeller number eight has the best thrust. And uh, now that I have I disregarded the thinner uh, blades because uh, theoretically they will have less thrust. And based on uh, propeller number eight, I build longer propeller. Basically, number nine is the same as number eight, but with a longer blade. And then I formed a group of uh, long blades in order to test their thrust, find the best, the one with the best thrust, and use it in my future project. So I will have, uh, I will make these four blades and test them in order to check which one has the best thrust and now we will put the final touches on the helix for example we will put an axis uh, which is which will be salvaged from uh, a pen okay the axis will put will be put here in order to uh, put the helix on any uh, motor
we can set any curvature we would like and after setting the curvature the desired curvature we apply some glue here in order to preserve the curvature and we will apply glue also here in order for the axis to stay in, in its place This is the final helix, we can attach it from here to any uh, motor, if we'd like to make it in pull or push uh, configuration it is possible. And also you can choose the material you would like to make your helix from. For example this is a slightly harder plastic, Okay, you can choose the curvature and the material. So it's up to you. Sure, uh, ensure the shape.